Hey guys, welcome back to 15 Minutes of Fame. My name's Ruben, and our special guest today is Fareed. How are you doing today, sir? Good. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, so, where are you from? Texas. <laughs> you don't have to do that every time. That's fine. I just wanted to see. It was, I just wanted to see how it worked. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> You're gonna like blow out the eardrums of like everybody watching. True. <laughs> All right, um, so you said Texas, right? You've been in Texas your whole life? Yeah. In Houston specifically? Yeah. Nice, okay. Um, where are you, like, what are you doing now? Are you in school? Are you working? What are you up to? I go to school. Uh-huh. I go to University of Houston, Clear Lake. Okay. And I work at an insurance company. Okay. And that's about it. Nice, cool. Uh, so what are you studying for in uh, the University of Houston Clinic? Right now, just business. Just doing my business core right now. Mm -hmm. And then trying to figure out what to do in that. Figure out what I want to do, particularly in business. Mm -hmm. But What are you thinking about right now, like doing maybe? Um, I just got into the university, so I don't know okay. too right. much about it yet. Mm -hmm. But I've taken like four classes so far. Gotcha, okay. That's cool. Um, do you like it at the insurance company so far? Like is it... I've never worked for an insurance company, but I mean, like... It's all right. Yeah. It's just the customers, to be honest. Yeah. Like, especially old people. Boomers. <laughs> boomers? Like, not even boomers. Like, just norm, like, older people, like, they just don't understand, like, how prices can go up. That's crazy, right? Yeah. What a crazy concept that prices can change every yeah. month. Like, you can quote, like, the ask for a quote... You get the quote, but for that month, right? And then it changes for next month. Next month, yeah. But they don't understand that concept. They're like, like, you told, you told me, me was, that. Yeah. All right. Well, that's that's. I mean, that makes sense. I mean, I think it's just one of those situations where, uh, depending on which side you're on, is how you see like the good or the bad in it. You know, but that makes sense. True. Um, what uh, do you like to do? Like for your hobbies, anything you do for fun, things like that. What are you into? I like to draw. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. Do you, uh, anything in particular, like, that you're specifically good at? I like to hand draw. Okay. I'm getting into digital art. That's really cool. Yeah, I got a uh, digital pa tablet recently. That was on sale for, like, $60, which was on for originally $200 on Amazon. Uh, that's a good deal, though. Okay, so you said you're getting more into digital art, right? Yes, sir. Uh, is it like 3D animation or do you do more like 2D? It's just 2D. 2D, okay. What I do right now is that I draw it physically on my uh, notepad, drawing mm -hmm. pad, and then I take a picture of it and I upload it onto my computer and then and then I like practice like doing brush strokes on it and like practicing my color on it, like color theory and stuff. And it's like, it just helps me like practice like how to use my tablet and stuff. and. And honestly, like, the program I use is pretty fun because, like, you can work, there's a lot to work with. Have you ever thought about doing that as, like, a career? Because, I mean, you seem very passionate about that, you know, something like you really Yeah, like but not my parents. No. Not those kind of people. Um, I mean, my parents are kind of like that, too. Uh, like, even with, like, this whole, like, video thing. Like, you can't be creative. <laughs> right. But, I mean, it's cool. It's whatever you like to do, I mean, at the end of the day, in my opinion. It's not even about the money. It's like, it's having fun. Yeah. But. They don't understand that. Yeah. But it is what it is. I mean, as long as you enjoy doing what you're doing, I mean, you'll be fine. Um, okay. Let's see. Any, we're going to go into like a little segue for our game in a little bit, but any particular movies or movie genres that you're into? Anything, really. Anything? Um, I like thriller films. Okay. What's your f uh, favorite thriller film? Um, recently, Hereditary, um, Split was a good thriller. That's, yeah, that was a really good one. Um, I'm trying to think of other ones. Like the Quiet Place favorite. was a good one. That's a fantastic movie. Oh my god, I love that movie. There, I think they already came out with the sequel or the prequel, but it's like the second one. Uh, or I think it's gonna come out soon. Did it already? Quiet Place out? Two. Yeah, did it? Is, that's it's not, not out yet. yet. Okay, okay. Yeah, I want to go watch that one too. So. For our game, basically what I'm going to do is read you 
a Twitter description of some popular movies, and right. you're gonna have to try to guess what they are. All right. So, for example, first one up here is Twilight. All right. The video description for that is a grumpy emo chick ponders whether to shag a corpse or a dog over several years. True. <laughs> All right. And the Titanic. Everyone tries the ice bucket challenge. A little dark, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, let's see. All right, we'll go ahead and jump right into this. This is a classic movie. A drug addicted girl takes advantage of mentally challenged boy for three decades. What is that? You have a guess? Anything? Any guesses? No. It is Forrest Gump. Never seen Forrest Gump. You've never seen Forrest Gump? <laughs> oh my god, what? Why? <laughs> Alright, next one. <laughs> that one's funny. Um, this one, I'll give you some hints throughout in case you need them. But this one is the second movie of a series. But they all have the same plot, basically. All right. So in this one, Donald Trump is a human being for three seconds. It's a second movie? Yeah. It was basically just a cameo he did in the movie. Oh, Home Alone too. Yes. Fantastic. All right. Next one up. Noseless guy has an unhealthy obsession with a teenage boy. Harry Potter. Yes, sir. True. <laughs> A guy learns to love a girl without her Instagram filters. That's so vague. It is. But it makes more sense with this series in particular as compared to like other movies. But there were three movies. Three? Yeah. Like Fifty Shades of Grey or something? No. <laughs> No, no, no. This one's... Okay, so it's a little... So they're people, I guess, but they're not really people. They're not... Okay, so... Is it animated? It is animated. Person. You want me to read it again? Yeah. Okay. A guy learns to love a girl without her Instagram filters. Is it a Disney movie? DreamWorks. DreamWorks? It might be Disney. I don't, I don't think it is, but... I, I don't know. Shrek. That's stupid. <laughs> hey, they're bad descriptions, bro. That's what you're going to get, you know? All right. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. What about... All right. This one is a series, like a TV show. People drink coffee for 10 years. 10 years? It's a very popular show. People are very obsessed with it. It's about coffee? It takes place mostly in a coffee shop. It's not really about coffee, but... Is it so popular now? It is, but it's very old. I'm trying to think. There are six main characters. Sixteen? Six main characters. I don't know. Friends. I was about to say friends. Should have gone with your gut, man. Just do it. Just believe in yourself and. I've never throw seen it out. Friends. Oh man, what? I've seen it like three times. All right, let's see. What about? All right, I'll go into some you probably have seen. 
Back to movies. A paranoid billionaire afraid of immigrant. Donald Trump? No. <laughs> it's a movie. Paranoid billionaire? Afraid of immigrant. Like a immigrant? You have to think a little bigger than like a country. Any other hints? It's a superhero movie. Superhero movie? Mm hmm. It's not Batman, right? It's Batman. Justice League? Batman versus Superman. Yes. Tr Boom. True. There we go. All right. We'll do a couple more. <laughs> All right. This one is like a collection of movies. So it's like every movie that like this particular person made. All right. It's a man child learns to be an adult. It's not just uh, not Tyler Perry, but. What's his name? Is it Manchild? Is it with uh, Kevin? Uh, what's his name? James. Kevin James? No. Uh, well, not, not Kevin James. You know. He's in some of them. Are you trying to find like what the movie's called? Well, it's a collection of movies, so the actor that does all of these movies. Is it a Tyler Perry movie? No. Kevin James works with this actor pretty often. Um, is he the short black dude? No. No? Not Kevin James, but it's the actor. No. Do you want some of the movies? Yeah. So, in this collection, there is Anger Management, Fifty First Dates, Happy Gilmore, Billy Madison, Just Go With It, That's My Boy, Grown Ups. Oh, Will Ferrell? No. Click. Oh, Adam Sandler. Yeah, there we go. All right, all right. Here's a good one. Um, this is a movie again. A series of naps. Series of maps? National Trek series of maps. Naps. Naps? Naps, like... Series of naps. That's a movie? But you have to think about, like the way they did the movie like yeah the execution not the idea basically you want a hint it's like a nap within a nap inception a nap. yes all right <laughs> all right so here's another one this one is a uh, disney movie it's a depressed widowed father teams up with mentally challenged women up. Nope. No, not up. To find his disabled son. Disabled son? Is it recent? No. There was a sequel that came out kind of recently, but it's still a couple years back. Disabled son? Oh, no. Not Finding Nemo, right? Is it? Finding Nemo? Yeah, it is. Finding Nemo. Yep, yep. Um... All right, we'll do one more. Uh, it's a very popular series. However, this one in particular is about a specific movie, um, but you can probably get it regardless. So, father reunites with long lost son, wants him to take over the family business. Is it old? 
some of the movies are old, yes. But they're still coming out with them now. Long lost son. You have another hint? It's not an Earth movie. Not an Earth movie. Like, it's not an Earth. They still make these? Yep. There's a bunch of them out. So Earth, there's no relation to Earth. Not really. I'm sure Earth might have come up at some point, but they're not... Is it animated? No. Parts of it are, but like, no. Is there a planet? A planet? Yeah, there's several. They're in like different areas. What's one of the planets? Uh, I don't remember. Uh, Titan is probably one of them, but like, uh, shoot, I'm like blanking. Uh, There's different creatures. Um, There are different ships. There are certain powers of sorts. But they're not really powers, they're like forces. With Star Wars? Yes. Fantastic. It's episode six. I think that is basically all the time we got for this one. But it's fantastic. We can definitely do a different one later on. But there you go. That has been Fareed. Um, fantastic young gentleman. Hopefully... You go into uh, graphic design or something. Yeah, I hope. Maybe. Hopefully, if that's what you decide to do with your life. But Eventually. <laughs> All right. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you guys on the next episode.